It's time for evolution. We welcome you to the Ogona Art Family. Today, we're going to be speaking about being 100% happy with your art and at the same time, you know, being open to improvement. And so oftentimes in the art community, it feels that when artists say that they're happy with their art, they, they automatically assume that you should be that people are, you know, closed minded to improvement and evolving even further. And I feel that no matter what level you're on, rather you're a beginner or an intermediate, you should 100% be happy with, with where you are at now. But that doesn't mean that you're, you're going to stop improving, you're going to stop studying. And so happiness doesn't mean settling. And so I feel that it's a 100% great and a lot more beneficial to be 100% with where you are at the moment with your art currently. And at the same time, it doesn't mean that, you know, you'll, you'll never improve. You, you, you become open-minded to improvement. You, you, you continuously, you know, study the crap, hone in on, on, on the skill and whatnot with the, with the happiness and excitement in the back of your mind for, for where you're at, at at the moment. And I understand uh, finding this happiness can be difficult when we are uh, competitively comparing our art to, to other people and in turn like it, it, downgrade, it downgrades our, our self-esteem as opposed to like becoming inspired by other people's artwork. So I feel the only person like uh, an artist or an individual should be competing with is is who you were yesterday you know your older self are you improving are you getting better or are you much more better than yourself you know yesterday how much knowledge are you gaining you know and that inner competition of becoming who you who of becoming a better person than who you were yesterday is going to eventually reflect into the external world and at the same time i feel that we have to be careful as to you know what kind of people are we surrounding ourselves with like what kind of artists are we surrounding ourselves with so if we're surrounding ourselves with uh you know artistic people with a, a negative or a, a how a harsh outlook on you know on art or you know they're they're just you know they're spreading hate or they're complaining about how difficult something is without giving it a try or proper studies then it's going to affect us and the more we surround ourselves with these kinds of people is going to start affecting our our abilities on a on a subconscious level when it starts when it comes to learning faster or memorizing certain concepts faster for example it may be a lot easier for a person to learn backgrounds if they didn't have a preconceived or, or pre-existing idea as to how difficult backgrounds are because that's what the the group of of people in the in the art collective say and so i feel that you know art is just it, art is very simple it just gives the the illusion of complexity and if we fall for the illusion the complexity we are we are trapped and we can't see past past the veil past the truth of of what something is of what that that topic in art is which is simplistic at its core and once we can hone in and focus on that that simplicity we've mastered the, the complexity so in a sense we just have to stop getting in our own way and that will be the video thank you guys for watching this is the organo art family connecting the art family together 